Russian President Putin and Chinese leader Xi Jinping met during the SCO summit as the two leaders held their strategic ties in defiance of the West and discussed ways to create alternatives to Western-dominated international institutions. In a statement, Taiwan's foreign ministry said it severely condemns Russia for following the Chinese Communist Party's authoritarian expansionist government to continue to make false statements at international venues that demean our country's sovereignty. Speaking at the SCO summit in Samarkand, Indian PM Narendra Modi said as the world recovers from the COVID-19 pandemic and disruptions caused by the Ukraine crisis, India will be transformed into a manufacturing hub. Azerbaijan said that 71 of its troops had died in clashes with Armenia last week in the worst fighting since 2020. Armenia and Azerbaijan have traded accusations of initiating the violence, which saw hundreds of Armenian civilians flee their homes. Joao Lorenzo has officially begun his second term in power, vowing to be the president for all Angolans after his MPLA party's win in last month's election. The ceremony was held amid tight security as several opposition parties have rejected the election results. In an apparent hate crime against Hindus, the Swaminarayan Temple in Toronto has been defaced by Canadian Khalistani extremists with anti-India graffiti. Indian Mission in Canada condemned the incident and urged authorities to take swift action against the perpetrators. Human-caused climate change likely contributed to the deadly floods that submerged parts of Pakistan in recent weeks, according to a report by the international team of climate scientists at the World Weather Attribution Group. Roger Federer, regarded by many as the greatest tennis player who took the sport to new levels during a career spanning more than two decades, will retire after the Laver Cup tournament in London. Federer, who dominated men's tennis for several years since 2003 and forged thrilling rivalries with Rafael Nadal and Novak Djokovic, has been troubled by injuries in recent years. 